So as some of you may or may not know, because this is way back in the day, I went to a community college courses to get certified in floral design years ago. And I was thinking about it, this is springtime, it's a perfect time to, you know, get some floral arrangements out. Uh, it's almost Mother's Day, some other major holidays coming up, Easter. And I was thinking, why not? Why don't I start trying again? These are for me to plant. Those are some seeds to plant. I got some faux bead fillers. I got two amber vases, but I um, already shattered one, so I have to get another. I want to decorate my house in like plants, an amber color to go with my name, some vase to work with. I got some craft water from Hobby Lobby, some dry foam, crystal accent beads, and then of course, flowers to make an arrangement. So I'm super excited. Oh yeah, and seeds from the dollar store, seeds to actually make some vegetables. So I'm super excited, y'all. I'm like poison ivy up in this house. <laughs> So I did another Dollar Tree run today, and I have to say I'm a little crazy. <laughs> I got a ton of flowers, um, I'm going to do some arrangements. Again, I'm trying to get ready for Mother's Day and Easter, I'm trying to sell some of these. This is a real one, it's a live flower, I bought, Let's see if I can keep it alive. Uh, this is going to be for a spring vase, got some <coughs> marbles. Hummingbird, hummingbird feeder. And of course, the blooms from. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Of course, the blooms from the other day. Some more vases, a little water sprayer. This is like for succulent. Vases for the sunflowers. Vases for. Um, this is going to be for like the feather flowers, which are kind of buried in there. You can't really see them. It's just a mess right now. <laughs> but yeah, super excited to get started on these projects, y'all. Back into the floral making business.